I'd like to welcome everybody to our UNL TAPS uh, video series. Uh, basically, we started this video series uh, to replace our June field day that we normally have for our TAPS participants. We decided to come out with a new video uh, once per week for the next couple months and kind of give you an update on what's going on in TAPS and some things that we've learned over uh, the last couple of years. So uh, with us today is uh, Dr. Matt Stockton. Matt is an Extension Ag Economist at the West Central Research Extension and Education Center. And he's gonna talk a little bit about uh, this project or this paper he's put together on multi peril crop insurance. So Matt. Hey, thanks Chuck. Uh, you know, we're gonna be talking about crop insurance because crop insurance can be a really good part of your business plan. It's something that can help you, especially when things don't go the way they should. It's something that you need, you can save money on if you know how to do it and those kinds of things. So number one, we're just gonna talk about what multi peril crop insurance is kind of those thing factors that affect it and what, what, what it's all about. The, the second thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about you know, the different levels of coverage and how that, if that, that works and, and whether those are beneficial or not beneficial depending on the circumstances and how that all works. The third one is gonna talk about changes in price trends. So if you have a season that's, that's maybe got high prices in the spring and low prices in the fall, which is pretty typical, how does that differ from the one where you have the opposite case, where you have high prices in the fall and, and, and lower prices in the spring, which is kind of an inverted market type situation. And then finally, we're gonna talk about how uh, insurance and forward contracting work together and they work hand in hand. Well, Matt, I'm really looking forward to this series. I've, you know, crop insurance is probably one of the most widely tools producers use in their operation and maybe, maybe not so widely understood. Well, I think that, uh, no matter how well you understand it, a better understanding and a better understanding of how it works can give you power to use it and leverage your, for your business. Because the bottom line is, the better you use something, the better you understand something, the more likely it'll work for you. Great, well I'd like to thank you Matt for being our first in the series, uh, coming up for our UNL TAPS video series.